So I just stopped at Target to see if they might have more things that are FODMAP friendly. So, well, first thing doesn't matter, it's some storage bags. We use these all the time in the RV. And some other sandwich bags. And then I got some that are just the fold over tops. I don't use these much, but I'm gonna use these to put my sister's rocks in that I find. So I can separate the ones that I find for her. Got the boys a couple of, ba of uh, buckets. I call white one. Uh, I figured you would, we can paint them. We can paint the buckets so it doesn't matter what color. But these will put a screw through the bottom of it and hold things on there. Then they can put their cups in them so they don't fall off. I should have gotten one more for up here. Oh well. We got some rice. This is also FODMAP friendly. All of the food I have scanned it so that we know it's FODMAP friendly with the Spoonful app. Okay, so some basmati rice. And Shane has shown an interest in the extra sharps lately. So we have some extra sharp cheddar. Here you go, Reefin. Thank you for taking that in. So, we know that we like the cinnamon Cheerios. Shane loves those. And the frosted Cheerios. And these are one of these. I think the cinnamon ones that's certified FODMAP friendly. Sometimes they'll test them and that one's for sure. Getting low on tea. Gotta have that every morning. Gonna try some hot cinnamon sunset. And I like this as much for the, uh, for the tin to use it again as the tea itself. So I'll buy a few more of those and then I'll stop buying the expensive. Some leftover snacks for the boys. Treats. They love their their uh, peppermint. Now I've got a number of different kinds of crackers. These are some rice crackers and there's some other crackers in here so we can try them and see. This is one reason I went to Target this time. They have more variety, different stores, different things. So these are some other ones. These are made with corn. The other one I think was made with multigrain and rice. Usually they're a base of corn or rice. Oh, this one's almond flour. So these we can't eat as much of because almond is a is a limited one. Uh, and there's one more. This is also, also almond thin. So we gotta be careful how many we eat, but we can try those. Now we've got some I was getting ingredients for tacos, but I didn't get everything. So I'll just have the tacos for the next time because I forgot the hamburger <laughs> and I forgot the lettuce and Shane wouldn't like that. But I did get in this bag or in that bag, I got the spices for it. Uh, no, here they are. I got some spices since uh, we can't do the regular spices because they have onion and garlic, not FODMAP friendly. I got some paprika some ancho chili powder and some regular chili powder. And I don't know what the difference is between ancho and chili powder, ancho and regular, but I guess I'll find out. I don't know if this is gonna be needed in tacos, but I like the little bit of taste of celery salt and things. So I'm learning how to make my own seasonings. Now this will come in very handy. And in fact, I'm gonna open it in a minute so that I can, it lets me hold on to the back of the phone easier so that will be much easier for recording now I got us some gluten or some gluten free lactose free milk and some chocolate lactose free milk <laughs> this one even has omega 3s in it bonus and marshmallows are always gluten free and they're good for us well not good for us they're okay for us to eat because they're FODMAP friendly well as well and then this has become a favorite for Shane, Laughing Cow. But this one we have to limit how much. One, because they're expensive, but two, because it's cheese with real milk and everything. So just being cautious. And then just some good old fashioned regular tea. Oh, and then my score of the day, Christmas clearance. Harry Potter socks, marked at $15. Scanned them with the Walmart app, and they said 50% off. Gave them $7.50, and I'm like, well, I have family members that are that would love them. Scanned them at the register, $1.50. Can we say happy? So this is our Walmart Target trip. FODMAP friendly. Might give you some ideas of things that you can get. I know that when I was first starting out on the FODMAP, well, still even now, I'm always trying to figure out other options that we can have to, to make it more interesting. So subscribe and 
watch our videos, please. And they're not all as boring as this, but this is if you're following uh, what's going on in our lives. The FODMAP diet is a big part of it right now. Haven't seen a result yet. Well, I have. Rethan hasn't, and I don't think Shane's seen much of a improvement yet. But we're hoping.